Well, as part of our Compute Platform Roadmap, we're collaborating closely with Intel. And we're excited to announce that this April, we'll be offering our next generation compute instances based on Intel's third generation Xeon scalable processors. These new compute instances are a great option for our customers looking to run everything from general purpose compute workloads like application or web servers to high performance computing workloads that require extreme per core performance such as computational fluid dynamics, CAE, engineering, or Monte Carlo simulations. Additionally, these are the first Intel-powered instances on OCI that support our new flexible infrastructure. What this means is you can now pick the optimal number of cores and memory to suit your workloads rather than the other way around. If you need a single core virtual machine with six gigabytes of memory, you can get exactly that. Or if you need the extreme performance of a bare metal server with 36 cores and half a terabyte of RAM and some local storage, you can get that too. Finally, these are also instances that provide customers with the industry's only bare metal RDMA networking capability that allows customers to run HPC workloads in the cloud, similar to how they would do this on premise. Large cloud customers like Zoom use our compute platform to support millions of meeting participants per day. Other customers like Nissan and other automotive manufacturers across Europe and US use these HPC capabilities to run their car development programs on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. With the new generation of these instances, customers can expect up to 42% performance increase in HPC and AI workloads for a range of use cases across industries like automotive, healthcare, manufacturing, financial services, gaming, and more. Moreover, these instances on-demand cost is identical to the prior generations of Intel-based instances, making them the best price performance compute option for customers in the public cloud today. Now, these instances are available for public preview starting today, and they'll be generally available starting 28th of April.